Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about efforts to promote social justice and the health and well-being of California's LGBT communities. My guest this segment is Alice Kessler, who is the Legislative Director of Equality California. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So I know over the last, uh, what, dozen years, ten years or so, like a hundred pieces of legislation dealing with the LGBT communities have, have uh, been passed by the legislature. Where have, where have we come from? And where have we come? I mean, how far sure. and what needs to be addressed next? Well, you know, when Equality California was initially founded in this state, we had very limited rights for LGBT people. You could be fired from your job for coming out. You could lose your home. Um, Same-sex couples had virtually no recognition. And we have come an extraordinary way, and, and in fact, California has led the way. I mean, we were the first state to pass a lot of these pieces of legislation, uh, including marriage equality, and that's really opened the door to where we find ourselves now, which is increasing amounts of um, protection under the law nationally, and um, there's always more to do. So, so we're still here, and our mission is evolving, and... Um, until LGBT people are fully accepted and embraced in society, our work won't be done. We even have a conservative-leaning U.S. Supreme Court yes. um, favorable to uh, marriage equality. So I guess my question is, what else needs to be done, do you think? Sure. Um, where we've really focused our mission now that we've achieved a lot of the um, legal gains in terms of what's on the books and the laws that need to be passed is we're looking at the ways that we can promote social justice in the lives of what's a really diverse community. LGBT people come from every racial group, every gender, every religion, and there's a lot of um, ways in which you may be a member of both the LGBT community and another community where you're facing issues. Immigration's a really good example. We have a lot of people in California who are undocumented and struggle because of their undocumented status. And on top of that, maybe LGBT. And so they're facing these dual types of discrimination. And so we're really focusing on how we can help the most underrepresented portions of the LGBT community. And you're also dealing with like homeless issues. I, exactly. I was reading that 40% of homeless youth are LGBT, which is yes. astonishing. The studies that we have, the, the numbers are stark. And that, you know, you can understand why that happens. Um, unfortunately, as much as we legislate, a lot of families still struggle with their children who come out. They, they often reject their children. Um, they then get into school and they face bullying. And so all of these things lead to really poor outcomes and these high rates of homelessness, high rates of suicide. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I know you have a lot of non-legislative programs dealing with civic engagement, for example, health care. Mm -hmm. Tell us in about 30 seconds or so. What yeah, about really excited about this. We've, we've been going into health care clinics, for example, and providing trainings for health care workers in places like the Central Valley. How do you work with members of the LGBT community and make them feel comfortable and acknowledged and accepted? What kind of terminology should you use? And these are well-meaning people who just need those kinds of tools to ensure that this community is getting the services that they need. So those are the types of things that we're doing that I think are making a huge impact. I was going to say, you think they're getting through? Absolutely, and we're getting requests all the time. Come, come here, come there, and do more training. So it's really taking off. All right. Well, that's all our time for this segment, but Alice Kessler of Equality California, thanks very much for coming by and talking about the LGBT communities and the work you're doing. We appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. And thanks to our viewers also for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on the California Channel, on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand.